Amen. Amen. We praise God. Amen. Today we want to continue by the grace of God, uh, looking at our study on the deity of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. We're reading from uh, the Gospel of John, chapter 1. Amen. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Amen. And then we go to verse 14, we read. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten Son, the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Amen. Amen. May God add his blessings to the reading of his word. Amen. Amen. Uh, we know that we're living in a time, even when there's so much deception. Amen. And people are preaching another Jesus, amen. And we just want to uh, say that we believe in the Jesus of the Bible, amen. We believe in Yeshua, the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, amen. We believe in the, the Jewish Jesus of the Bible, amen. Because Paul says in Corinthians that there would come a time when people would preach another Jesus, and at that time we see it is happening, amen. People are preaching another Jesus. They're preaching of a Jesus that was not born of the Virgin Mary. Or they preach of a Jesus that was born of the Virgin Mary, but they say he is not the son of Yahweh God. And they go on to say that he never died on the cross. That someone else died on the cross. And that uh, Jesus, their Jesus, not the Bible Jesus, that their Jesus never died on the cross. And so, according to them, uh, their Jesus that they speak of never arose from the dead. Because he never died on the cross. He was not buried uh, in the tomb and stay, he did not stay in the tomb for three days, and he did not rise from the dead within three days, according to Bible prophecy. Now, when people preach another Jesus, then they're under another spirit, a spirit that is not of God, because there is an antichrist uh, spirit in the world that has anointed many false prophets and false teachers, to go and preach false doctrine about a false Jesus. And friend, we want to have nothing to do with that, amen. We believe in the Jewish Jesus. We believe in the Jewish Messiah. We believe in Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Those Greeks, when they came to Jesus, in John chapter 12, they said, Sirs, we would see Jesus. And the disciples, amen, introduced them to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. A true witness will always point people to the true Messiah, to the Word of God. Amen. A compass will always point north. Amen. Hallelujah. It will point north. And of course, uh, it will depend on the magnetic deviation. Amen. you got to adjust because of the changes in the Earth's magnetic field. But a compass will always point north. Amen. And the Holy Ghost will always lead and guide you into all truth. Amen. Anything that's contrary to the word of God, friend, leave it alone. Put it one side. Amen. Because it's nothing but deception. Amen. Paul says in Corinthians, Amen, 2 Corinthians 11, he says, uh, he says in, in Corinth, when he was writing to the Corinthians, he says, uh, verse 1, would to God you would bear with me a little in my folly, and indeed bear with me, for I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I espouse you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. But I fear this by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through your, through your subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, or if you receive another spirit, which you have not received, or another gospel, which you have not accepted, you might well bear with him. Amen. 
friend, another Jesus, another gospel, another spirit. Amen. Amen. So many false doctrines out there. So many false teachings. Amen. Nowadays, I mean, people are running to listen to motivational speeches to get that temporary feel-good spirit. Friend, motivational speeches are okay. We've got nothing against that. Oh, we all for everyone being uh, told to be more positive than negative. we all for that. we all for people being told, uh, uh, don't be a failure, be a success. Uh, we all for that, amen. But friend, at the end of the day, examine the motivational speech. Does it point you to Jesus Christ? Does it tell you that you need to be born again? Nicodemus, Jesus told Nicodemus, you must be born again. Hallelujah. Paul says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things are passed away. All things are become new. Today we live in an age of recycling, amen. Uh, where there's so many green movements, amen. They recycle paper. They recycle bottles. They recycle metals. They recycle plastics, amen. They recycle uh, wood, amen. They make uh, chip wood out of, uh, out of uh, furniture, broken down furniture. They make sawdust, amen. People are into recycle mode. But friend, when it comes to the gospel, when it comes to eternal salvation, you do not play a lottery with your life. You do not play Russian roulette with your life, friend. The Bible says you must be fully persuaded in your own mind. Search the scriptures. Examine yourself and see if you are in the faith. Know ye not that you are in Christ, except you be reprobate. Know ye not that the Spirit of God, the Spirit of Christ dwelleth in you, except you be reprobate, Amen. You must be born again, Amen. You have to be a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things pass away. All things become new. We live in a time, amen, when if you want to uh, buy a brand new car, you can take your second-hand car, amen, and trade it in and get a new one. Friend, you've got to go to the foot of the cross, amen. Hallelujah. And die to self. Die to your way of thinking. Die to you, this, all this modern secular philosophy, amen. And be born again by the incorruptible seed, the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. When you're born again of the word of God, the, the Lord Jesus said, you, He that hears my word and believes my word, he shall pass from death unto life. There is an exodus. Amen. There is a transfer. Amen. God takes you out of the kingdom of darkness and puts you into the kingdom of light. Amen. God takes you out of the devil's kingdom and puts you into his kingdom, the God's kingdom, amen. Hallelujah. We are born again by the incorruptible seed, the word of God, amen. That's why it's so important that you be careful to what you hear, be careful for, to what you see, amen. Amen. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. God created you in his own image and likeness. Hallelujah. The first man, Adam, was created in the image of the second man, Adam. Amen. Adam was not supposed to die. Adam was supposed to live. Amen. But sin entered the human race because of disobedience. Because of Adam's disobedience in the Garden of Eden, sin, sickness, and death entered the human race. But thank God, friend, in another garden, in the garden of Gethsemane, because of the obedience of the second man, Adam, hallelujah, where he said, not my will, but thine be done, amen. Friend, he went to Calvary. He died on the cross. He arose again. And he's alive forevermore, amen. The tomb is empty in Jerusalem, amen. Because of his obedience, hallelujah, we can live forever. If God be for us, who can be against us? Great is he that's in you. Than he that's in the world. Friend, we preach the Bible, Jesus. We preach the Jewish Jesus. We preach Yeshua, amen. The Lord Jesus Christ and him crucified, amen. 
Hallelujah. And he arose from the dead and is alive forevermore. We thank God. Amen. We'll talk some more in the next few videos. Amen. About our Lord and Savior. Amen. The creator of the universe. Amen. We just want to be in love with our creator. We want to give him all the glory, honor, and praise. Amen. Because, friend, he's our kinsman redeemer. He's the one that died for us. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, is the son of Yahweh God. People want to say, uh, God has no son. Friend, the Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Friend, I'd rather believe the word of God than believe false prophets, amen. I'd rather believe what my Bible says than, than listen to false prophets, amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of a sound mind. We don't have to be afraid of these false prophets. Friend, if their religion is true, why do they threaten people, amen? If their religion is true, let their God that they say is the true God, let him destroy those that are not his, amen. But friend, thank God we serve a God of love and a God of mercy. Hallelujah. Our God is not wicked. Our God is holy. Our God is just. Our God is perfect. Our God is righteous. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. Amen. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, so that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Jesus says, a new commandment I give unto you, that you love one another. By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have love one for another. Friend, love is the strongest force on earth, amen. The love of God, amen. Agape love, amen. Agape love, hallelujah. The divine love of God, amen, that cannot be impersonated, amen. Friend, the love of God constrains us to forgive our enemies. The love of God constrains us, hallelujah, to bless our enemies, hallelujah. Bless them that persecute you, amen. Bless them that despitefully uh, use you, amen. Bless them that speak evil of you, hallelujah. The God we serve is the great I am, amen. He said, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me, amen. Amen. Friend, we thank God for the revelation. We, we serve the Jewish Messiah. We serve Yeshua. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you, saints. Amen. We'll see you again next time. By His grace. Amen. Stay blessed. Amen. God bless you. Amen.